The Edo State Governor, Godwin Obaseki, has resigned his membership of the ruling All Progressive Congress. Obaseki announced his resignation after meeting with President Muhammad Buhari at the presidential villa in Abuja. The embattled governor said he would pursue his ambition for a second term in office on another platform. He had on Monday said he would only disclose his next line of action after meeting the president. I don't know if it's good news. Um, you recall that my last uh, statement, my last tweet, I said that I'll make a decision uh, after my disqualification was announced by APC, uh, that I will make a decision after I have consulted with the leadership and my supporters in Edo State and also have informed the President. I'm just here today to inform you that I have now decided formally to resign my membership of the All Progressive Congress. Uh, <clears throat> having done that, I will now announce in the next few days my specific line of action and what platform I will be contesting the gubernatorial elections on. I'm sure the whole country knows and is aware of what has gone on with me and the party chairman, the party leadership, which culminated in my disqualification as um, a gubernatorial aspirant. Um, uh, and upon that unfortunate decision by the chairman of the All Progressive Congress, I have decided to go and seek um, and my gubernatorial aspiration on another platform. Governor Basaki said there is no inconsistencies with his certificate. Someone who hasn't gone to school, who doesn't have certificates himself, we not even know and understand what inconsistencies in certificates are. So that, that's the starting point. What is the inconsistency? There is no inconsistency in my certificates. The issue was in 2016 when I contested for uh, the gubernatorial elections. I could not find the originals of my certificates because I, had, I hadn't required them for more than two decades. So I deposed to an affidavit that I could not find the originals. Subsequently, I found all the original copies of all my certificates. And they are here, they are here with me. So I don't understand what is inconsistent about that. Maybe the inconsistency is in the Youth Corps certificate, where he said my surname was missing an I in the end. But if you look at that, it was like a cursive. It was written in a cursive manner. So if that's inconsistency for him, then I really, really, it's really sad that you have people with uh, you know, that quality as you know, leading Nigeria's ruling party. He, he was, he, 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 for him, it was just to look for an excuse to take whatever decision he wants to take. And it's really sad that the party structure today gives him that sort of authority without any checks. And that is dangerous for any system or any institution. When you give authority and responsibility to people who don't have character, people who do not have fairness, a sense of justice, then that institution is imperiled.